Hey YouTube, Silver Hair Stacker here. So, yeah, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the disconnect between spot price and realized physical price of precious metals. So, let's get into it a little bit. Here we have a 20 franc gold coin. This is 0.1865 of an ounce of gold. Got a little rooster and a nice looking French lady on the front. So, this coin I bought, check it out. March the 24th, 2020. And I paid $305.39 for it. We'll show you in a minute what that costs now. Uh, another coin I wanted to talk about is the Silver Eagle. Yeah, there's the Silver Eagle. It's a one ounce US government mint coin. And it's a piece of government issued bullion. So today, I had to write this down because I can't remember stuff just thinking about it. The gold spot price is $1,721.26, which would make the 20 franc, if it were valued at spot price, $322.48. Let's go look at what uh, 24 or 20 franc coin is going for now. So here is a 20 franc gold piece. Same size, same weight as the one I just showed you over there. And today's price is $392.85. <coughs> So, the price I paid on March 6th, it's gone up, ooh, about $85 or so. And I bought from the same company that this coin is being offered from. And look, they sold 1,211 of them. <laughs> so, pe people are still buying these, even at the higher prices now. But I've kind of quit buying, and I'm not sure what to do. So anyway, let's go back to the Silver Eagle. So yeah, the Silver Eagle. Beautiful coin. They make millions of them every year. And it used to be you could buy these for maybe... $4 over the spot price at the very most. I mean, that was that was a high premium above the spot price of silver to get one of these. So, but silver spot price right now is $15.16. But today, if you want to buy a silver eagle, it will cost you at least 28 bucks. And that's more than $4 above spot price. $4 above spot price would be what? $19 and some change. And yeah, 28 bucks. What? You don't believe me? Let's go look at the computer. So here we go. Modern Coin Mart, a very respected company selling on eBay, are now selling... Silver Eagles on eBay for $28.23 a piece, which is, oh gosh, $13 more than the spot price of silver. Yeah, I mean, at the most, like I said, you could buy these for about $4 above spot price. So, yeah. A lot has changed since the recent uh, 
catastrophes that we're currently involved in. Uh, the federal uh, government has decided to print money out the rear end. So the physical is going through the roof and the spot price is staying low. It's a phenomenon I have never seen before. And I know you haven't seen it before because I'm old. <laughs> and if I haven't seen it, you probably haven't seen it either because I'm old. So anyway, uh, as most of you know, I take a portion of my sales from eBay and monthly, if not more often, I take my profits and I spend a portion of it to buy gold and silver to save for the future. But at these prices, what's a, what's a guy to do? Give me your give me your thoughts down below. I mean, do you buy a silver eagle for twenty eight dollars and thirty twenty three cents? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Well, how about the how about the twenty franc? Now remember, I paid three hundred and five dollars for one of these one month and one day ago and look how much they've gone up since and it's not because the value of gold at spot price has gone up that much it's because the physical is disconnecting from the spot price at a magnitude i've never seen i don't know if any, if any of you can refer me to a time when the disconnect between the physical price, uh, a, a piece of gold that you can hold in your hand has been so much different than the spot price, which is offered uh, for basically how we price all this stuff. So anyway, give me your thoughts down below. Now, the rest of this video is going to be about some of the stuff I'm selling right now on eBay to make money and hopefully have some money to buy some gold and silver. But right now, I'm not buying. So, and I just showed you the reasons why I'm not buying. It's too expensive right now. So, this, is, this video is also kind of covering some of the uh, video game stuff that I've been selling. If you watched my last video... You saw that I got just a, actually, maybe two tons, seriously, two tons of video game stuff from a video game store buyout. And, yeah, so this is my, I take pictures of, on the white, there's the little doggy down there. That's her normal pose, she's asleep all the time, Izzy. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I've been listing games like crazy. I've got, these are Nintendo 64. These are Sega Genesis. I've got all kinds of games, NES games and SNES games. Yeah, let's show some more piles. So, yeah, this is kind of how this stuff came. I've got, like... But here's an Xbox 360. There's a Retron. Boxes of cords and controllers and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So I got to match the consoles with the controllers and cords and everything. And test them. And yeah. Tons of stuff like that work left to do. I got weeks into this to go. Okay, yeah, more piles of video game stuff. <laughs> it's everywhere. Yeah. Uh huh. So, PlayStation. Yeah, this stuff is 
everywhere. <laughs> I filled it. I pretty much filled up my whole house with this stuff, except the living room and the master bedroom. Every other place is fair game. Here's some old Atari stuff. It's craziness. Bunch of cords, some of it brand new. Yeah, here's some more Sega Genesis games. Just item after item after item. What's this one? Ten head. Yeah. That's a Warner Brothers. Yep, more Sega Genesis. There's another box of something down underneath it. And here's some uh, rock band stuff. Yeah, this is the drum set. Uh, another tote down there. And another tote down there. And another tote down there. And another tote down there. <laughs> Does this look overwhelming yet? Most resellers use these Ikea bags because they're so big and you can carry a lot of crap in them. But yeah, these are filled with PlayStation 2 games and Xbox games and yeah, all kinds of stuff. Here's some more stuff. These are video games in this box. There's PS3. There's another, ooh, that, look, that looks bad. And, yeah, and there's another box down there. And here's a tote with video game strategy books. So I've got a bunch of video game strategy books to get listed on eBay and make some money off of. Here's another tote. Uh, here's a GameCube tested and the disc won't spin. So, yeah, if it didn't spin in 2015, it probably won't spin now either. So, I got a bunch of stuff that isn't going to work, but most of the games should work. And I do have a disc restorer. What do you call that? Resurfacer? That I can work on that. Here's some more, um, yeah, rock band stuff and the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> My house is inundated. I don't know where to put the vacuum cleaner because I got so many video games. Yeah, here's some more rock band stuff, some more Xbox stuff. So stuff is stacked everywhere. Here's some more rock band stuff. You can see a, a, uh, rock band guitar sticking out there there's some more snes games and there's some more uh sega yeah sega genesis games so i got stuff stacked everywhere anyway so you can see my predicament i will get all this stuff listed on ebay eventually or uh, I just got an offer yesterday evening from a fellow reseller named Scott that said he runs some um, auctions and I could put like big lots of this stuff together and just auction it on during one of his videos and sell it that way. But I don't mind being a slow worker. This will keep me busy for weeks and months. So, and I'm making good money. Let's go look and see how much money I'm making. Okay. So here we go. Normally, I sell on eBay about $4,000 gross. Well, I'm a little higher than that right now. For the last 31 days, I sold $8,352 gross. Now, I got to take out the cost of goods. I got to take out shipping. I got to take out fees for eBay and PayPal before I can figure um, what I get to net on profit. But check it out. Here we go. I'm rocking along. No video games to sell until, 
Let's see. When did I start selling video games? Oh, 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 oh. Here's yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was my biggest sales day of the year. And so my sales on eBay for 31 days is up 93.5%. But I can't invest any of this into gold and silver because I don't want to pay the new prices. So here we go. I'm in a conundrum. What do I do? Well, right now, with my profits, I'm just stacking cash. Um... I don't know what anybody else is doing, but the cash coffers are getting kind of full and I'd like to spend some of that on some investment, silver and gold. But I'm not gonna do it at the new prices, so. Hopefully the pandemic will end soon and we'll all return to normal and we'll all get to start buying a little gold and silver again to add to our savings portfolio. So anyway, those are my thoughts. That's kind of what I'm doing. I'd like to hear what everybody else is doing. If anybody is buying gold and silver right now, I know you're paying a lot of money for it, at least on the retail markets like eBay or from the online distributors of gold and silver. So I'd like to hear your thoughts. What are you doing? Uh, if you're... If you're just a reseller and you're watching this to see what I've been doing reselling, well, I put a bunch of stuff in there for you guys too. So this is your Silver Hair Stacker saying good luck, God bless. Get out there and sell some video games. They're going like hotcakes, I guess, because people are stuck at home and they're bored. I need a video game to play. So they're buying like crazy. <laughs> so... We'll see y'all later. Bye.